Oh shit. I don't want to do this again. Hey bitch, it's Frederick Chopin here today. Now before you think I'm copying TikTok, I did this shit a year ago. I painted white shoes once on my channel. Ever since that video, I've not been the same. I have so many painting things now that I don't need. But one thing I've learned is that painting shoes is the longest, most hardest, most nerve wracking thing I've ever done, especially as a perfectionist. But my friend wanted some shoes, painted Starry Night, and I was like, Fine. I got these vans for $10. They are a size 10. I have no interest in wearing them. And you'll notice that it's like slightly pink, but that does not matter for shoes because we're painting over it anyways. And I'm lighting a candle in the summertime because that shit keeps me sane. I'm gonna go crazy painting these shoes at some point. I know it. After painting those first shoes and painting a lot in general, I've learned some tips and tricks. First thing we gotta do is tape our fucking mouth shut. I'm kidding. You want to put tape all around the white sole so that you don't mess it up. Let me just do that real nice and quick here. Don't worry about being too precise. You can always just take the paint off later. I just realized I'm risking a lot by having three cups of water right next to a candle. Also having a candle on a mobile desk. Would not recommend doing that, folks. All right, that's as best as we're gonna get it. Now that you have the white part covered, you want to stuff your shoe. It basically keeps the shoe upright instead of pushing down. By the way, my whole floor has been protected in towels. I think there are five towels down here right now. Okay, I fixed the lighting a little bit. I think it's more true to color. Now that this is done, we need to begin painting. Actually, I need to pull up a picture of Starry Night first because we'll be here for a while. Okay, so I have the picture pulled up and I have to basically put the whole picture on these shoes somehow. I think what I'm going to do is have the big black fire thing right here, the moon right here, and then I'll just do random. Oh my god. Um, I just got a tornado warning on my phone. Am I gonna have to cancel this video until tomorrow? I did say this would be a three day project, so I might have to cancel this. By the way, I'm wearing this beret because I forgot I used to wear it for Frederick's art camp, and I stopped doing it for some reason, but we're back, so get ready. Oh shit, uh, I'll do this tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do this tomorrow. Much later. Okay, it is a little bit later and the thunderstorm is done. I also decided to take the beret off because I looked fucking stupid in it. It also gave me time to look at the Starry Night portrait and I'm realizing there's a lot of shit going on. Like all of these involve small strokes and I don't know if I can do that. Um, let's start off with sketching. I feel like that's the smart decision. Like I want to get a general idea of where everything's going to be. So I'm going to time lapse this real quick because this will take forever. As a kid, I never really looked at it up close, but I did not realize there was that much detail. Do I want to sketch out every single house? Yes, I do. My first idea was just to create a dark blue and paint it all over here and layer on top. But I don't think I can do that now because this is complicated. This might be the hardest painting ever. Even more than my graduation cap and bold and brash. So excuse me while I begin to outline every fucking house I see and prepare to get cramps in my hand. All right, so as I'm drawing more and more of these houses, I'm realizing there are more on here than on this painting. This piece is more... <laughs> What's this word? It's not as landscapey as I imagine, and these shoes curve a lot. So, I'm gonna have to fake some houses. I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna notice I added two or three more houses, except the people who are gonna watch this video, including my friend who's getting these shoes. Hope you like them, Daniel. He's doing a lot of spiral action. What's going on with that? And he has like some acres right here, some more bushes. So I put these two together. They should connect right here. Okay, I think the sketching is done. Now I have to get my paint brushes out. Oh my god! <laughs> These look best to me. Alright, now do I want to do lightest to darkest? Yes, that is ideal. I'm gonna start off with the stars. That seems easiest to me. The stars have this whitish yellow color. Why do I sound like a smartass? 
Let me stop. They look white yellow. I don't have fabric paint, I make it myself. This is called textile medium. You basically combine this with any acrylic paint you want and it turns it into permanent, flexible, and washable fabric paint. And the ratio is a two to one acrylic paint and medium. So I'm going to mix some white and some yellow just to have both. Now I usually eyeball this because I don't believe in measuring paint. Oh, I also have a new thing. I bought some palette knives. So I'm just gonna mix up my mediums right here. Oh, I'm so fancy with my palette knife now, guys. By the way, you might wanna pull up a picture of Starry Night while watching this video because it'll make more sense when I'm referencing. Sorry, I'm just cleaning off my palette knife using my towels on the floor. Maybe I shouldn't. Where do you start with this painting, man? Cause I'm looking at the white and it's sort of blending in with the blue too. Did it really start off with the darkest colors first? Mmm. Okay, fine, fine. We'll do the darkest colors first. Okay, I'm just gonna mix all the colors, I think, to make it easier for me. The weird fiery thing that he has down here is a mixture of brown, black, and green. I got hookers green, like always. And then we're just gonna put our textile medium in all of them. See, I really wish I could use oil paint for this because acrylic paint dries way too fast. So I'm taking the O with that, and that is not a dark enough black. Hold on, hold on. Oh, if you're worried that textile medium lightens the color because it appears white, it has never done that for me. I don't know why I'm trying to talk like I'm an artist. I'm just a normal kid. We're just gonna put down the base of this, and I already realize this brush is way too big. Thank you for your contribution or lack of. This is gonna take a while, I'm prepared. But I wanna make sure these lines are clean. I just realized I was not supposed to paint there, that's a hill. I also just noticed that the tape did not really cover and protect because I see some black trickling down slowly but surely down the whole sole. <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering how I got these shoes for $10, I thrifted them. So what was Van Gogh thinking when he was making this weird fire thing? Okay, now that I have the base layer done, I'm now going to go in with some impressionist strokes. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I'm not accustomed to voluntary putting strokes onto a painting. Oh, I'm already starting to blend. Damn it, damn it. Nope, don't blend, Frederick. It's just so weird. You have to do little flicks. And I have no brush that is small enough to do that. All I can say is it looks nothing like what it's supposed to be. It just looks very weird. That's all I can say. Granted, this is the weirdest part of the painting, so maybe it's it'll be fine after. How do you just simply layer on top of them and not have them mix? Okay, this brush isn't working either. It's too thick. I will consider using my thin brush. So the thinnest brush I have is this one. No wonder Van Gogh took for fucking ever to do this painting. Usually for these videos, I have a sense of what to do going into them. This time, I don't know where the fuck to start. You can't even tell. You can't even tell on the camera. If... Uh -huh. Guys, I truly, truly, Jacqueline Hill truly, <laughs> don't know what to do with this thing. I have no idea where to start. I need every single color on the palette, basically. Might as well do that. Let me just get a blue real quick. He uses a fat ton of blue. All right, I have a lot of blue right there. If I run out of blue, I'll be fucking pissed. So if you wanted to do this on your shoes, um, don't. It's the trick. Like, I need a different brush for every color, but I also have to be comfortable with mixing in between my colors. And you need a palette to do that, but I didn't do that because I'm an idiot. Whatever, let's just do this. Well, fuck, that's not even pigmented. All right, I thought that'd be a much darker blue, but turns out this is not as pigmented as I initially thought. Oh my God, this thing is soaking up all my paint. I'm gonna need a lot more blue than this. It doesn't matter if paint gets inside the shoe, right? Like literally all I've done is paint the shoe blue. And then I did some fire, but I gave up halfway in between. Oh, but it dried, it looks okay. Hmm, maybe there's some hope for me. <gasps> Jesus, what the fuck am I doing? This shoe soaked up all my blue. I only have a limited amount of this blue, guys. And it's supposed to cover half of that other shoe too. I forgot to mention this, but fabric likes to soak up fabric paint like a fucking sponge. Also, what is up with the back of this shoe? It's two different colors and the... My candle is not lit and that's why I'm so stressed. Maybe it would have been better to search up a tutorial on how to paint Starry Night first. I'm actually gonna highly regret not doing that probably. Why did my friend have to request Starry Night? Why did he request a professional painting done by a professional artist who made millions of dollars after he died and he expects me the sunflower guy. The guy who can paint sunflowers for a living. He expects me of all people to be able to do this. My friend has very high expectations for me and he should not. I mean, the color is right. 
Like it's a beautiful color, I will admit that much. Let's see if I can't dip some blue into here and like try to do some shit, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, that's gonna take so much paint guys, oh my god. I should not have done the fiery thing first because I have to paint around it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <clears throat> whenever I'm painting over it. I'll just keep layering on after I have priorities right now. All right, I gave up on the blue. I'm just gonna go back to my original fire thing. Okay, so my theory is if I can't manage to paint little strokes of these colors, if I just put globs of paint all over here and just swipe as I go. Van Gogh is given a much bigger canvas. I'm given a fucking shoe. Like, what do you expect me to work with here, guys? Although this is actually kind of working. I don't know how I feel about the idea of leaving big clumps of paint on a shoe. But I think that's the only way if we want to get the true look and feel of Van Gogh's original. It's like, don't walk in the rain or anywhere wet ever. Daniel, you'll be fine. Like it's kind of looking better now. Woot woot. By the way, Daniel actually took art classes in school. I watched Jenna Marbles online. That is the difference in education for us. All right, I think the fire is finally done. I'm just kind of mad because I still have to paint around it with the freaking sky. Much, much later. Oh my God, I've been painting for hours now. I decided to do some of it off camera because it was basically boring stuff. And I got really carried away and forgot that I am a YouTuber who needs to record a video. This is what I have so far. Basically what I did was I took this blue and put it all over here, dark blue on top of it. Yes, that is the whole tube of dark blue in there right now. And what I slowly did was just added a little bit of white to accent. But as you can clearly see, this looks nothing like the original. And you know what? I don't care because I realized I can't make it look like the original. But it is impressionistic. And this is my impression of what Starry Night looks like. And this is also so many goddamn layers. I have no idea how I'm going to do the little... <sighs> Thing, but we'll work as I go. I also don't know why I'm holding both of them like it's helping me or something. For the windy uh, galaxy thing, I'm doing just a bunch of layers of white and I'm hoping eventually one of the layers looks right because that, this is about five layers already. Like this one looks okay, but it could be much better. Except I don't know how to make it better. So I just keep doing the same goddamn thing. Also, I ruined the fire thing. I'm gonna have to trace over that after this and I have not done any stars because I don't want to even think about how to do those stars yet. Oh my god, one of my videos that got copyrighted finally was released. Because guess what guys, using two seconds of a song is not YouTube friendly. Alright, putting another layer of dark blue over this. I mean, I think this layer looks okay. It's just kind of thick now. Like it's hard for me to even move my brush in between just because of how many layers I put over it. But I think that's the best we're gonna get with the galaxy swoosh thing. I'm gonna go back to my small, small brush cause maybe that'll make a difference. I actually like what's going on on this side. Let me just see if I can copy that a bunch of times. Do they have a brush that's just like one strand? Like I want a brush that literally has one piece of hair on the end. That would be very helpful right now. All right, I think that shoe is done finish this one. I mean, there's not much left to do. I'm just gonna do one small layer of this real quick. Okay, I'm gonna try something different. I have both white and blue on my brush. I thought that maybe using both will help this blend better, but I think I like what I'm doing here more. Yeah, I like this much more. All right, that one is perfect. I don't wanna do anything to that. Like I realize it is stupid to do a brush stroke on every piece of the background. So I just kept mixing and mixing until it looked like Patchy. Okay, so we're gonna add one more layer of white. It really reminds me of Bob Ross when he does the liquid white because it helps blend the colors you add on top better. Maybe add some strokes of blue. Does it have so much of it? Oh my god, I, I did not need that. I mayo. What Did I do it? If I put these two together, do they match up? I need to add more of this cobalt blue to this side, which means I gotta redo every fucking thing. <laughs> Why do I even do this? This is always the most stressful thing for me. People say painting is therapeutic. I find it stressful. I don't feel any of my inner demons being released. I actually feel them crying for me. It's done. I think I did it. Holy crap. All right, that's starting to look like the thing. The thing, what's it called? Starry night. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna do the moon. I also stopped looking at the reference picture just because I don't want to know how bad I'm doing compared to it. First, we're gonna add some 
yellow and white to the center. But you also have to make sure you keep the blue in there, which makes no sense. So this will be a lot of mixing again. I think if I just make them a little bit scratchy looking, so it's like fading out, that'll help give off that feel. I don't know. I'm really bullshitting through this, okay? Like, I'm not gonna lie to you and say, I know what I'm doing here. Clearly, I am new to Starry Night, and I definitely do not want to oil paint anytime soon. All right, I think that looks good enough. As for the Moon Moon, it's a very orangey yellow, so I need to add some red to this. Let me beat the devil really quick. That is clearly peach. How long have I been painting for? Oh my God, it's nine o'clock. I've been doing this for three hours now. Also, I just realized having a yellow moon makes absolutely no sense. And then he put some random yellow things around here. I don't know how his moon pops. Like, my moon is not popping as his. Okay, I think that's the best I'm gonna get. Um, I don't know what to do about that moon. It's not really showing up. I think I'll add another layer after. I'm done. I'm gonna take a break for tonight. I will see you tomorrow for day two of this fucking project. Much, much, much later. Okay. It's day two. I have no idea if the paint that I used that last time is still even wet. Oh, the black is still there at least. Some of the brown. Wow, I'm impressed. I just laid an extra palette over top of this and I did not expect that to stay. So I need to finish painting the lights. I have some places where I didn't paint anything because that is where I wanted the lights to be. So I'm gonna see if I can't replicate his stars. Okay, I will say the paint is much more thick, so I need to water it down just a little bit. I'm gonna add some white to accent the lights a little more, make it seem like they're popping. This one actually looks pretty good. I'm impressed with myself. Okay, there's one down. So if you want the tutorial version of this, I put the orangey yellow color in the center, spread it out like this, and just do some weird circle things. Add some accents. All right, another star is done. We only have so many more to go. Nice. Okay, I think I got all the stars on this shoe done. Next, we're gonna do the other one. I'm sorry, I don't have the technique of a professional. I'm not Joanna Cedia. All right, that is all of the stars done. I think they look pretty good. There's a lot more stars on this one, but like this one has the black fiery thing, so I thought I would balance it out. Speaking of black fire, I'm gonna repaint all of this because that clearly got ruined in the process of painting. I don't know how easy this is gonna be. I don't expect it to be easy though, mainly because I can't see any of my lines anymore. Okay, I got an outline. I just gotta figure out how to get these brown and green brush strokes in again. For some reason, that worked much easier than the last time. All right, I think that's good enough. You're full? My card is full? How long have I been doing this? All right, so I took yet another break. This should all be dry by now, and my paint is probably dry too, but that's fine, I don't need any more of it. What I want to do is figure out how to do this hill situation because it's very confusing me. Like somehow, this requires even more blue than last time. I'm also very sorry that this is basically turning into an art channel. Except I'm not professional in any way, shape, or form. I already know something's gonna go wrong where I need white to cover it up. So why not just make it now? There was so much to this painting that I did not know about. I cannot have the patience to do all of this, so I highly respect him. Damn it, I have to paint around this again. There's a hill like right here. I mean, I'm gonna have to just paint this in my own way, which is basically me trying to find the easiest way to make it look like the actual painting. Hmm. It's fine, I'm not gonna freak out yet. This blue doesn't want to layer over itself. I don't know why that is a thing. I paid good money for this and all I wanted for you was to be opaque, but you don't want to fucking do that, so I guess we're stuck here. I'm gonna add like one swipe of white, just one. Maybe that'll make this look a little bit more like a hill. I don't know, when was the last time you saw a blue hill? Oh, this looks terrible. I looked at the picture. There's like multiple layers to these hills. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, so one thing I know for sure is that the hills behind are much more darker. So I'm going to add just a little bit of green. Oh, that is too much. So now you want to be pigmented, huh? I'm gonna see if I can perfect this one. So he uses like 
downward strokes for this one hill. Just this one hill, I see downward strokes. So a little bit of black. I think I'm okay with that. I'm gonna let that dry. Until then, let's work back on this one. They're all kind of the same color. It's like a greenish blue, but also black at the same time. It's very confusing. There we go. That's more of the color I'm looking for. Do that a couple more times and we'll be good. This all looks very messy, but I feel like it all just magically turns into a beautiful masterpiece at the end. Like what? is that looks like i'll be painting over my fire for the millionth time these are supposed to be bushes let me know when they look like bushes to you because i don't see it at all okay that's literally what it looks like in the picture i'm just gonna go with it now to figure out how to make this hill look streaky that is what i'm looking for i realized that the hill was way too dark so i'm just gonna lighten it up a little bit. He also outlines these hills, which is gonna be terrible for me because you know how much I hate tracing. And no, I can't just use a black paint pen because that is not fabric paint. So you can go ahead and delete your comment because I already know you're typing it. Let me know when they invent fabric paint pens, then we'll talk. Okay, I think that is the best I can do. So let's paint over the next layer. This hill magically fades from a nice black to a blue. Just what I wanted, a gradient. I hope you know this is like Blue, white, and black all mixed together, but somehow you can see every color. It makes zero sense. I'm convinced that this can only be done with oil paint. Oh no, that's too much black. It's too much. That is so much more than I needed. Fuck. Before I mess that one up anymore, let me go back to... I have to redo this on there somehow, so... I'd rather make them green so you can tell that they're hills than make it blue and just look like the sky again. Does that somehow match up? Actually, it does. Maybe I need to stop looking at the image because it's just going to make me even more mad. Maybe add some shading, just like a little bit of black to this. Oh, that's too much white. Oh, god damn it. No! I wonder if these shoes are even breathable. Like, this paint has been layered so many times. Next, we're going to do yet another layer. While I'm at this, I'm just going to go ahead and outline the rest of the hills. Maybe outlining will help make it look better. Say cheese. Uh, why do people say painting is so therapeutic? This is stressful as hell, y'all lied. My butt hurts from sitting down. My SD card is almost full and it's 64 gigabytes. That has never happened in any video. And I feel like I'm not even done yet. We're gonna touch this off with just another layer of the black liner. And those are my hills. What do you think, guys? Oh God, please don't fall. In the light, it actually looks pretty good. Okay, so for the bushes, he takes like green and white and just does a bunch of circles. I think this looks right. I'm so sorry, Van Gogh, if I'm disturbing your sleep. I feel like every time someone paints a famous artist painting, they get a headache in the afterlife. Now I'm just gonna add some white accents. I'm just gonna take like one dollop and swipe. Okay, this is a very stupid technique, but I think it's gonna work. Little circles of white and then blend it out. Oh my god, this white dried way too fast. Hold on. Nope, never mind. That did not work like expected. Okay, so what we're not gonna do is that. Maybe a little bit faster this time, Frederick. Oh no, it's getting more. It's getting worse and worse and worse. I need someone here to tell me that everything is okay because everything is really not going okay right now. I just want it to look like bushes. Art is supposed to be fun and I'm not having fun. That is the closest I can get to a bush. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm not touching it anymore. We're moving on to the houses. Oh my God, there's so many of them. I'm just gonna paint some squares. One color that is very commonly used is this blue. I feel like if I just paint a bunch of shapes, it'll eventually work out. Cause I have to outline all of these things eventually. There's also some greenish colors. He also uses some brown in here. The thing is, it's very muddy here. Like I can't make out what's a house and what's grass. There's only one thing that I can tell is a house and it's a freaking church. So I'm just gonna focus on making that one thing happen. The church is very tall and there's a building below it. At this point, I don't think it's mainly about the shapes. I think it's about getting colors on here. I'm gonna add a house right here because I fucking can. <gasps> no! Oh, did it get on my, uh, it got on my chair. A brown blue house? How do you even make that color? Okay, these colors are basically all mixed together. So I'm just gonna start doing that. I just looked at a house and I counted five different colors. So I'm done trying to make the shapes. I just want this to be over with now. Okay, that is my neighborhood. By the way, all of these houses have chimneys and I find that very interesting. He also makes a lot of these things dark. Like he'll just add black lines everywhere. So I think I can handle that. Oh my hand needs to stop shaking, please. Oh my God.
Basically the trick is to outline everything. Just outline until it looks like a house. The more confusing you make this, the better it'll be in my opinion. You want them to look at it and just be like, huh? Is that a house? I don't know. Bitch, these things are 3D as hell. This is starting to look good. Nah. Okay, I need to shut up. <laughs> more triangles. Triangles are good. You don't even have to make houses. If you just connect them somewhere, it looks like they're a neighborhood. Dude, that looks like it. You can't even tell what's going on. I was right. We have to add yellow because the lights are on. Just add a hint of yellow occasionally. Oh my god, he literally puts them like in a corner. It does not matter where you put it. And the yellow has to be a little bit less vibrant, so I'm just gonna blend it out. I just add a water to my brush and I'm just gonna go back and forth. I fucking did it! Oh my god, I may be an artist! That actually looks pretty good once it's all done. It's kind of like a makeup look. You're so confused until the very end after you put on lashes. I'm very happy with them considering the fact that I made this a little more like blended instead of individual strokes. I really like the way it looks though. I'm, I'm proud of what I could do with my skills. Keep in mind here, professional artist, I am self-taught. I learned from the internet, okay? So don't judge me too hard. I'm gonna go ahead and let them dry. But that is the end of the video. And as always, I will read a coming out story at the end of my videos because I want to promote being authentic to yourself. Who's my specimen this time? As always, I'll keep the message anonymous out of respect. I came out to my dad a few months ago when I was at my school's GSA, Gay Straight Alliance, for those of you who don't know. I texted him asking if he knew what being pansexual was and he said no. Then I told him to look it up, so when I got home, he said I was too young to know my sexuality, which really hurt when I do know my sexuality and he was trying to make up an excuse. I later came out to my close friends and they all accepted me. That is a reality that a lot of us have to deal with, but I'm glad that you have some acceptance from your close friends. But that is all I have for you today. So if you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below. Please do not ask me to paint shoes again. I'm done. I'm never doing it again. Subscribe for more amateur painting videos. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. Now, I will take my break because I deserve it.